Instead of manually searching for each source file you want to edit, let's check out a quick way to jump between symbols. So for this, I'm going to use the ctags command. You can go ahead and download this with your favorite package manager. And I'm going to run this on the Vim code base right over here. And and again, a pass in minus R means it goes recursively inside the folder. And it's going to run on the source folder. So this will basically generate the tags file, and this will help Vim understand where the symbols in your code are located. Afterwards, I can go ahead and close this. And if I want to, exam for example, go to the symbol that contains this word, I can go ahead and expand with tab after putting the while card. And I can see it found two symbols. I can go ahead and jump to this one. And it's going to bring me right over to this function. And uh, as you can see, it found two stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and jump to the second one. And as you can see, it found both. And I can go ahead and use the control closing a square back bracket on the reset args list, for example. And you can see it jumped the symbol according to the tags file. Don't forget to subscribe for more Vim videos. Thanks for watching.